and he started doing this. What? What? And all yours is set. Wait, what? All yours is set. If any of those clips look familiar to you, you've probably played a video game in the past five to 10 years. Pretty much every game nowadays seems to release way too early, filled with bugs and empty of content. As gamers, we have a right to be mad, we pay a full price for a game, it should be finished. Even if it is free, the game is marketed as a full release. It should be fully completed. Today, when it comes to these games, I'm mostly going to talk about Battlefield 2042 because that's the genre I'm most familiar with. But there are a lot of examples of this. No Man's Sky, Cyberpunk 2077, you name it. But as you can tell from the title, that's not exactly my point in the video. I think we've been looking at the market all wrong all these years. I think us gamers are actually part of the problem. Let's go back in time to the magical year of 2009. Modern Warfare 2 just released and it's not exactly perfect. Just like games today, it's filled with bugs, exploits, horrible balancing, the whole lot. People definitely complained because they wanted the game to be as good as possible, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not what people really cared about. All that really mattered was how good the gameplay was, and boy was Modern Warfare 2 good. They introduced the tactical nuke, which changed Call of Duty for forever, the sniping scene blew up around that time, competitive was taking off, no one stopped playing because of the issues the game had, a new COD came out every year, they were all just as buggy as the last one, no one had standards, and the funny thing is, I still have that exact same mindset all these years later. When a new game comes out, I could give two shits about the bugs in the game. I know eventually they're probably going to get fixed, but right now, I just want to focus on the gameplay. And this is exactly what I'm doing with World War 3. I saw there were issues with connection, balancing, and some bugs here and there, but damn was the gameplay good. No, it's not for everyone, but it's definitely my cup of tea. But here's where the problem is. When Battlefield 2042 released, the game obviously wasn't ready. But before that, people were begging and pleading for them to release it. Investors, they were getting impatient. You actually heard people say, if they don't release release this game now, it's going to die off before it even launches. Does that sound familiar? So it launches with just as many problems as games always launch with, but now people complain about it being released too early. And these are the same people who are complaining that it wasn't out yet. Try to look at this from a dev's point of view. There is no way to please people. No matter what you do, people will hate you for taking too long or not taking long enough. On a side note, there were other reasons for Battlefield 2042 failing. I'm not saying the game didn't deserve hate, but the difference between Battlefield 2042 in World War 3 is the gameplay. The gameplay for Battlefield 2042 was terrible. If it was actually fun, you could look past the bugs and issues because you're going to enjoy playing it. That's the boat that like Battlefield 4 was in, for example. When it released, it was a mess, but the gameplay behind it was actually fun. People were willing to wait for the game to get fixed because it was actually fun to play. I feel World War 3 deserves that same level of respect. When it comes to World War 3 taking too long to come out, I kind of get that. I just started playing, but people started playing almost four years ago now, and we aren't even in open beta yet. But this is not 2009 anymore. Standards are way higher in terms of graphics, gameplay, content, balancing, everything. If you want that level of perfection, it's going to take years and years to develop. That's why developers are forced to push pre-orders, early access, all that stuff. They need funding 
because it's a long drawn out process that takes a lot of money. Personally, I'm just thankful I get to play the game at all. It isn't even released yet. If there wasn't a closed beta, I probably wouldn't even be aware of its existence. When Modern Warfare 2 released, that shit didn't have an open beta, are you kidding me? We weren't blessed with being able to play the game early. I think that's a huge issue with gaming today, where people have absolutely no concept of what early access means. If you look up the release date of World War 3 right now, it'll say October 2018, but the game isn't out yet. They've let people play it early for all these years to help speed up the development process and provide funding. It blows my mind that people are complaining about issues in the game as if this is the final product. They're working to get the game ready for release. They don't want to be the next Battlefield 2042. If the game hasn't released yet, there's probably a good reason for it. You are insane if you actually think the developers are just being lazy. There is a lot of money at stake here. If anyone watching this doesn't really know what World War 3 is, let me just sum up my point here. Everyone in the FPS market, and really gaming in general, wants the best of both worlds. People expect games to release a couple years into development while still having zero problems. It's just not possible. We need to start accepting the fact that early access is early access and stop being so damn impatient. And if you can't help but be impatient, then you better not complain when a game releases unfinished. I feel for the devs, man. They're in a really tough position right now. Every developer these days is. The mindset I try to have is the devs can take as long as they need to. It's not like the game's on fire and if they wait, you know, two more years, the game's just going to completely disappear by then. If it takes the devs two more years to develop the game, guess what? You can play it in two years. <laughs> the only reason why people want it to release now is because they're impatient. Let's look at No Man's Sky, for example. The game releases, it's a buggy mess, everyone's pissed off, everyone hates it. They write the game off as bad. Years and years later, they continue developing the game. If you go and play the game right now, it's actually really well made. They added a lot of content. The game is nothing like it was when it released but people still have this mindset of, it's too late now. I'm still mad about you releasing the game in an unfinished state. I'm not gonna play your game. Why? They needed more time, they got more time, the game is good now, why are you mad? It's only a game, why do you have to be mad? It is impossible to develop a game for like six, seven, eight years without releasing it or having early access, some form of monetization to keep the development process going. I think we all just need to be a little bit more patient and a little bit more forgiving. If the game isn't good enough for you right now, you don't have to play it. You can wait for them to fix the problems. It's okay. That's really all I have to say. It's just something I've been thinking about for a while now. Pretty much ever since Battlefield 2042 released when I saw people pressuring the devs to release the game early. When they announced the game was going to be like a month delayed, everybody got so upset, but I was like, do you not remember all the other games that you hated on when they released too early? I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. Le leave a comment below about your opinion about this whole subject. I am interested to see if my point of view kind of changes the minds of people. I really hope so, because I think we are kind of living in this bubble right now. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.